team checking in trying to integrate a new thing into my routine which is podcasting whilst i'm out with the the dogs the revision retrievers and just want to make a point today about a bit of smartphone management which i think could be really useful for you and what it's aimed at doing is trying to get you more focused on the priorities and what you're trying to accomplish whilst also being able to use your smartphone to do all the other things you like doing connecting with your friends uh, using all the tech available on it to get stuff done make life easier after all that's pretty much what the smartphone does right It, it makes our lives a lot easier that's why so many people use it if you make stuff easier for a human being they're gonna like it they're gonna enjoy it if it's more efficient faster better easier happy days so let's talk about social media because even over the weekend i i found myself just i was clicking on a few youtube videos obviously trying to keep it roughly in line with what what i'm interested in but there were obviously a few things that popped up there that i was like oh what's that you know fly to a light bulb kind of vibe and i think one of the things you can do to Try and train yourself to really just focus on the stuff you want to pay attention to actively rather than the stuff that just comes across your screen and then you click on it because it's got a flashy headline or a cool thumbnail or it's just auto-played and it's some weird funky meme that's funny but actually it's not just one meme, it's 20 memes and... 50 minutes later you're still at your phone and you were like wow I, I actually did need to and I actually really wanted to do this other task that was related to my smartphone but I just got carried away there so one thing that you can do and this is in relation to your friends it's not a full solve for the for the for the kind of content that grabs your attention mid flow but try to deliberately miss out on things i'm I'm gonna try and do it this week a bit more than i usually do double down on that skill a bit more but deliberately missing out and getting okay with that because ultimately whenever we click on a piece of information whenever we scroll down in the news feed or the snapchat stories feed or any kind of social feed we're just trying to find out information that's going on in the world either about our friends the world in general or information just as a thing uh, and often the if you really dig deep the push factor that is causing us to get involved with the content is because we don't want to be uninformed we don't want to miss out on some potential online excitement or social connection when really i think you could you could flip this on its head and say okay if you're spending too much time i'm not saying don't do it because it's the way the world works right and it's actually the reason why people do it is because it's nice to be able to connect with people it's nice to be able to pick up any kind of information whenever but if you do it too often and you and you massively over index your proportions of time spent to that kind of behavior what it does do is it it leads to a lot of just high level social connections they're not very deep it's a like on a post what does that mean these days it's a like on a post it's a comment it's another text message you know i don't i've got a few friend groups on whatsapp which is where most of my conversations go on do i remember all the banter that's gone on there certainly not do i remember the times when you know we were on a holiday had a bloody amazing night out absolute cracker top-notch night Yes, I do remember that, or at least parts of it. I do remember that. And that's the kind of stuff that I think you should be trying to, you know, map towards the deep experiences, whatever that is for you. Mine's just, one of them was just going out, obviously. There's other things as well in there. But just try and focus on on honing that skill. Because if you're constantly in these short-term gratification loops, everything's going to get... Well, your time's going to disappear, for one. Uh, You're going to get extremely reactive, so you're going to be kind of afraid of missing out on stuff that really, there's no reason to be afraid of missing out on it. And this is what this new challenge is trying to teach you, that it's okay to miss out. 
there's actually not that like what are you scared of the text the message the uh, the update always question it how relevant like for the news the news for example I, I don't know if you guys know but i haven't actually watched the mainstream news since the beginning of 2017 so i'm pretty uninformed on like what's going on in general i used to be extremely informed like when i was at school i'd read the news every single day i'd read the the times in fact cover to cover uh yeah i know a uh, bit of a chopper doing that at 16 but yeah I, I was told I should do it, so I did it. Uh, did it, did it, did it make me more informed about the world? Yeah, to a certain extent, but now I ask myself a question of, okay, I've got this rough understanding of how things work. I don't know it all, but what can I do if I actually take that out and experiment a little and, and concentrate on things that, for me, right now, really, really do matter and I do want to impact and I want to make that step change in performance? What do I need to do? What sacrifices do I need to make? in order to do those do those things and get better and improve so the the point i was going to make is you know when when you watch the morning news ask yourself how much of that imp- information actually directly impacts you in the moment directly like influences your day changes the course of it i'd argue very very little of it does very little in fact none I'm interested in having this debate. I think it's a thing that I've I've noticed a lot uh, among a lot of people who tend to get a lot of stuff done, work on cool projects. They've got an extremely good radar for figuring out what actually matters, what what's actually the priority. In fact, you know, when I was working at at Vayner Media, the jobs of the leaders in that company, in any company, is to figure out what's the priority, what are the key decisions that need to be made. And you can see your life being the CEO of your life as a as a micro version of that, in that you need to be able to make daily decisions and figure out, okay, what are the priorities? What do I want to be working on? What do I need to do today? What do I what do I need to focus on? What do I not need to not be afraid of missing out on, dropping? Because really the consequences of not knowing doesn't really matter. Just because the information and the connectivity is at your fingertips doesn't mean that it has to be used. So, think about that. Try that. This is the task. Practice not being afraid of missing out. NBA FOMO is that. Oh, I'll come up with the correct acronym when I've got a chance to... uh, Sit down after I've walked these doggies. I've just got two of them tracking me at the moment. Hogan and Harley, good boys. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and get on with the day, but I will be doing, I'll be practicing my uh, not being afraid of missing out this week. And the way that will take form is I'm going to be doing less scrolls vertically on news feeds like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Instagram, I'll be doing a lot more direct hashtag searches. If I'm interested in connecting with a particular friend, I'll go direct to their profile. I'll, set, I'll insert their at name into the search bar, press search, boom, there they are. I can talk to them all I like. Or get in those DMs. The other thing is WhatsApp. WhatsApp, just try muting for a day. I don't know how many messages you get. You know, I've got a couple of groups on there. Get a couple of messages a day, maybe. Uh, depends on how much chat and banter is flowing. But try just muting it for a day and then not being bothered about reading what's gone on in the group. That's really tough because it's your, it's your close friends. And I, you know, I wouldn't encourage this as a, as a, as a day to day thing because I enjoy it. Like, it's great banter, it's funny, it makes me laugh, it makes me happy, you know, and they're, they're close, close friends, so it's not, it's not, like, untargeted in any way, it's, it's very much, like, deliberate use of time, but remember, what we're doing is practicing, we're training, so in order to train, you've got to try and put yourself under the most stressful conditions in order to grow, and that is a stressful one, because the fear of missing out there is huge and real, so try it out, see if you can do it, and you'll see that actually it's not too bad. Right, I'm going to chuck this ball for this guy. Hogan, here. 
off he goes. Right, I'm checking out. See you later.